Hey Mech Warriors, welcome to Bad Ben's Battletech. I'm Bad Ben. And this is episode 19, I think, of Bad Ben's Business Rogue Tech playthrough. Uh, yeah, so, hmm, today, today, I have, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been in here without you guys, having a look around at my things, and, uh, I think I've discovered something that I never knew about before, and I'm kind of an idiot for never really realizing this, uh, I've never heard of this before, but, this is Lamb Endo TSM. I've never heard of Endo TSM. TSM is triple strength Myanmar. Once you get up to a proper heat, uh, in this case, activates when above 24 heat, deactivates when below 18 heat. Um, that's a little less than the triple strength Myanmar I have on the Hatchet Man, which activates at 27 heat and shuts off at 24 heat. Um, uh, 1.5 times melee damage when active. 10 fixed slots reserved. Increased maximum carry weight by 2 times. Can only be installed on a Laren Air Mech. So that means it has a uh, triple strength Myanmar. And once it gets hot, it does more melee damage, which is something like I've never even... I've never noticed whatsoever. Uh, problem with this mech then is that it doesn't get hot fast enough, actually. Um, it only has 9 heat. It only does 9 heat per turn. And it needs to get to 24, meaning it needs uh, three turns to activate um, to get up to heat. If I do shoot everything and so on, I guess it, the mm, actually now that I think about it, the lamb this lamb has a jump feature and. I do, I can make a lot of heat if I jump very far. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. So if I jump, I should be able to actually activate this thing. Um, another thing I've wanted to do for a long time and haven't done for some reason is take out this uh, Inferno and EMP ammo. I, uh, I don't want that. Uh, I've got this extra range and high explosive ammo ATM that's like standard ATM ammo. There's 60 shots. Mm, I might want to put that in. Just because otherwise he, I only have 10 shots. I mean, I've never... It's never really been a problem. Uh, uh, uh. What's this? Extra ammo, unusable S. This is incompatible with that for some reason. Okay, so, all right. Then I only have the ER and the high explosive ammo and that's it. But, if this is, huh, hmm, I've also got this laser insulator, which makes the laser do less heat. And actually, if I want the triple strength Myanmar activated, I want more heat. 
Du, du, du. So now I'm up to 12 heat, but I'm way down on tonnage. I've got five tons extra. Okay, what if I... Okay, first of all, let's get this thing armored way the heck up. <sighs> so that's with maximum armor. Now I've got two tons of free space. Wait a second. Also, okay, more things, hmm. Wait. This thing, I have a handheld light AC5. I could take that thing off. Wait a second. No. I could take that thing off. Give it to... Yeah, okay, wait. I'm going to do this first. It takes no time. And... I'm going to give that to the right. Wolverine, I believe. Is complete. Because the Wolverine has a melee weapon. And I would rather the melee weapon go on the mech with the... Uh, what am I talking about? I can't get my thoughts straight. Go on the, the lamb that has TSM. So I could take this off. I could give it the handheld AC... Uh-oh. carry weight. It only can carry 5.5 .5 and it's... this thing weighs 6. Mmm. Yeah, okay. So I can't give that to that mech. But either way, I think I'll take off that lance and give it to the Give it to the one data because it will be able to use it better. So I'm gonna do this. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. This. Where is that lance? Mech lance. Only weighs three tons and it has eleven tons carry weight. Can it carry both? Ah! <laughs> I can carry both the handheld light AC5 and the Lance. <laughs> wow. Jeez Louise. Okay. Okay. Take off this. Let's get its armor up. 53. So I got about 1.1 tons left. What can I do? Oh, and I'll take off that thing. Because I want the heat. Heat delta 18 heat 18 heat okay oh this thing does heat too this does no heat mech lance <laughs> now I've got some free space and what can I put on it much is this way? That only weighs four tons. PPC weighs more than that. Yeah, a little more than that. But does weigh 
less damage and less heat, which is exactly the opposite of what I want. I can't put that AC5 on. That's way too heavy. That's way too heavy. Mmm. I could put a machine gun on. I suppose. Wait a second. I also realize I don't have case on this at all. I could put... I could... Yeah, maybe I have... Wait, where could I put it? Do, do, do. That over here, move that over here. Here. Have a case. I can put a case there. Uh, just, I mean, honestly, just to bring the. Okay, I have a machine gun. Oh, wait, no, there's something wrong. Case two. I can't have a case two. Can I have normal case? I can have normal case. Uh, and I have a machine gun. Do I have any machine gun ammo? Ammo machine gun. I can't move my lamb turbine, can I? Can I? <laughs> and then I can put the ammo for the machine gun in here with the case. 55. Okay, now I'm overweight. Eh? What, what was that? Hmm, okay, so this is a different... This is slightly different. I mean, it's kind of stupid to put a machine gun in there. But I'm honestly just doing it to fill up extra weight. And I mean, it does a little bit of extra damage. And actually, machine guns aren't that bad. Especially when uh, going after battle armor and stuff like that. This will take 12 days. Hmm. Is this better? I mean, it's tougher. It does more damage at every range. It has... Uh, has a physical weapon and it does more heat, which should help activate the triple strength mimer. Okay. Do, 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 do. Whatever, I'm gonna do it. We'll do that and see how that comes out. So now I got. Ooh, okay, that's gonna take. And. Okay. So everything should be done before my financial report. I've got very little money. But I want to get all this done. That work order is complete, boss. Top not to work if I yeah, may I say. I don't so. have any money, unfortunately, to Job's done, Commander. do anything else in engineering. I'm going to simply go and look for something that pays a lot of money. That one pays a lot of money. That's two skulls. That's one and a half and pays almost the same amount. So, in this, could I actually take the scorpion as well I can uh yeah I know I think I know now how to load this up see if it goes like that I have to shift click that first but it might actually have to be yeah 
So look at that. I think I think that it's going to be uh, loaded onto the Nova before we even start. And I get to try out this Scorpion tank, which has an MRM-20. Should be fairly quick. All right. Let's try this out. So here we go. Try out the new, interface not initiated. new, the triple strength Myanmar that I've completely overlooked this entire time. You've arrived at a location, the employer specified commander. Move towards, acquire a target lance and light them up. Keep an eye out for reinforcements. I get the impression these folks are a bit twitchy. Glad you could grace us with your presence. Lead the way, Merc. Oh, I get I get reinforcements, it seems. Okay, so where do I gotta go? They're gonna be there. It's a bunch of water. It's a huge mountain. And where can oh Somewhere here? Over here I'm allowed. Where? Here? What? In the water? I'm allowed to deploy like way over here. Oh, I'm allowed to deploy here too. Oh, this isn't a bad spot. Mm -hmm. Except there's a lot of rocks and people are going to get stuck on things. That looks... Dangerous. Maybe I'll deploy back here where it looks like I won't get stuck. Where are my allies? Here. What do we got? Shadowhawk, a blackjack, and something else. Prowler MTV. And what was this? Plainsman HT HVT with uh, LRMs. Huh, okay. And the enemy's way over... Where are they? Here. Hmm. Can you not move? Oh, he can't go. It's not his turn. His turn. I will reserve everybody down. Let everybody else go first. Okay. Where is uh, the... Where are my allies going? Okay, I see a raven. something else way back here oh they're really spread out okay prowlers going somewhere where is it going do, 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. yeah What's that? That's the that's a raven. That's another raven. Ally, ally, the plainsmen. Okay, they're making their way up over this hill. Looking good. A Jenner. I saw a Jenner there. 
Mm, so, let's start with my slowest unit. The Wolverine. Oh, no, just come up here into cover. Double Although I don't think that there's going to be much shooting this round. Receiving you. Where are they? Oh, yeah, okay, no. I can just sprint up this mountain. Hatchet man. Oh, what do you want? Do, 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 do. I was just um Let's make some bad I was just using Mega Mech Lab. If uh if anybody's at all interested in battle tech, like the the tabletop game, uh, Mega Mech is an incredible resource. It has three parts. There's Mega Mech itself that allows you to play out Battletech games against the AI. Uh, Mega Mech Lab, which lets you customize or create entirely new mechs. Um, and then there's Mega Mech HQ, which allows you to run a whole mech What's campaign up, against the bot. I could fly way over there and get line of sight, but I'm not going to do that. And yeah, so you can you can have this whole campaign and it will do all of the really difficult math, which is amazing because running the whole actual rules for running campaigns in Battletech are extremely in-depth and complex and take a lot of math. I'm receiving you. So Mega Mech HQ is a great resource for running campaign. But anyways, I was in Mega Mech Lab, uh, which lets you to customize mechs. And the reason I wanted to do that was to see how close is Rogue Tech to actual classic Battle Tech, as in like the the amount that things weigh and so on and so forth. And uh, it's it's not it's not bad, it's not perfect. I hear you. For example, uh, my hatchet man has a 300 XL engine in it in Rogue Tech in this, and that weighs in this game 12.5 tons, whereas in um, uh, in in classic Battle Tech. I think you first of all you couldn't put a 300 XL engine into a 45 ton mech you can only do engines that are multiples of 45 tons so the closest would be a 315 ton uh, XL engine and that would weigh 11 tons so actually in rogue tech it's a little more punishing the the uh, the, the engines weigh more. On you. And Dan Dan. Than they do in classic Battletech. I wanted to go and check that out, see how close this was, and it's pretty close. Like most of the, the weapons weigh the same amount. The heat and damage is all off because the heat it's it's base I, it's I I don't know exactly, but essentially in this game, it's multiplied by five. So, for example, medium laser in normal battle tech does five damage. In this video game, it battle tech vanilla and in row tech, uh, the the medium laser does five damage, not twenty five. That would be obscene. Uh, 20 damage in classic Battletech is an Im incredible amount of damage. Like an AC-20 can do 20 points of damage. And it's one of the larger weapons in the game. 
Although that's kind of the reason that I really love triple strength Myomer, because, um, for example, the Banshee 8S that has triple strength Myomer and Hatchet in Battletech Classic can do, I think, 38 damage in one section. I think, uh, since I'm basically hidden behind this mountain and nobody can see me, I'm just going to reserve all the way down. So yeah, 38 damage in classic Battletech is unbelievable. That's That will take down any light mech, pretty much all, almost all medium mechs. It would severely damage or completely destroy a lot of heavy mechs as well. The only problem with the Banshee 8S is that it's a, it's a 95 tonner, and it's a big slow guy. So actually getting into melee range with it isn't super easy. I prefer a good medium mech with triple strength Myomar and a physical weapon like the Hatchet Man or an Axe Man. Or one of the best, in my opinion, is the Night Sky. The Night Sky is a beautiful mech. It almost it's it's one of the it it's one of them that has a hatchet pretty much on every variant like a hatchet man kind of thing. I don't know if on every single variant, but you know that's one of its things. And it's fast, has a lot of pulse lasers on it a lot of the time. Great mech, night sky. So what's going on? Allies and them are already getting into it. I've reserved. One huge, huge difference between this video game and classic Battletech that I'd like, I, I would prefer it the classic way, is that you, damage doesn't actually, in classic, damage doesn't uh, happen immediately. It happens at the end of the turn. So even if your mech gets destroyed before it gets to shoot in classic, it still gets to shoot that turn because it every mech that started the turn gets to shoot that turn and if it's destroyed it's destroyed at the end of the turn and i think for balance that's just it's just a really great way of going about it you know it makes sure and therefore uh going second in classic battletech is what you want and that's when you win initiative you get to go second so you get to see what everybody else does, how they, uh, how the other guy moves first, and then you get to move one of your guys, and then they move one, and then you move one, but then they always have, to, you always get the chance to move last in classic if you win initiative, which is really really cool, but is not the way that this game works. So, what? Waiting on you, Commander. What do I want to do? Who can do something? The Wolverine is too slow and can't get into a line of sight with anyone. So it will just run up into the forest. The Nova is also likely too slow but can do. And shoot. Oh, wait. I wait your the mistake I made every single time is not doing my maxim with its tag first. However, the only mech I might be able to tag is this wasp at long distance. That's going to be a really difficult shot. And I'm not sure anybody else, possibly the Winata, could get a shot at the wasp as well. Well, who can the Winata get a shot off at? 
and get into the side of this raven. What's going on here? Why is this uh, red with an X? That's not usually like that. BLK? What does that mean? Have I screwed up this mech entirely somehow? By changing it around and I put that machine gun on and the machine gun for whatever reason can't shoot? Okay, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what I did. So the Winnetta could get a shot what off. Want? What do you want? The hatchet man, the hatchet man could also get a shot off at the wasp. And that seems to be the only one. Oh, maybe I will go for the wasp. Maybe I will. Yes, commander. What about you? What can you do? You have an MRM-20 and a machine gun. And you, as well, could get a shot off at the Wasp. So, I mean, I guess the best idea would be to try to tag that Wasp. But my best chance of doing that will be this. All right, well, we'll give it a go. Rolling. Let's go, Maxim. If you could tag that wasp, that would be incredible. I'm sure, yeah, okay, 29.2% chance. Not great. LRM's 20, yeah, some will hit. Locking target. And didn't tag it. Which is understandable. Hey there. And we'll send the Winita. Wait a second. Okay. Where is the TSM? Where is the TSM? Land endo TSM. See, it was all the way down here. That's why I never saw it. Prototype double heat sinks times four. Okay, I don't know. Oof. Heat sink. Oh, this whole thing. I gotta see what's going on with the Winata. What have I done? Oh, you can even get into the Got it. wasp's side. <laughs> so. For whatever reason, I can't even shoot my... Okay, so this is wonderful. I've screwed this up and have zero chance to get up my TSM to... What did I do? What happened? Why is that busted? Locked. Can be used with... High energy capacitors. Shift plus click, toggle all weapons same? What did I do? Why is that busted? Aw, oh, man. That's really dumb. ER has a better chance of sh hitting. Firing on target. Dan Dan in the armor. Wait a sec. Ready for orders. Well, first of all, you're on the Nova, aren't you? The Nova can also get a shot off at the Wasp. Ooh, a really long distance shot. Very low chance to hit.
Might as well try. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the chance will change. Maybe not. It's a pretty long distance shot. Yeah, okay. 34% chance with the ATM-6. ER medium lasers, yeah. A few, a few hits, nothing huge. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Uh, let's get up here. Ooh. Yeah, sprint way up here into the forest. Let's make some decisions at high speed. Don't want to be shooting a slug. And the multi pulse laser can't shoot, and I won't activate TSM. But I will get a little hot, so that'll be something. And I lit the forest on fire. I hear ya. Okay, and this, what's this called? The Scorpion MRM. Oh yeah. Brand new light tank. 30% of the MRMs will hit. That's not terrible. You betcha. And Dan Dan. What can I do for you? You can just relax. Sound smart. Cooling. Yeah. <sighs> Shadowhawk shooting at a raven. Allied sh Shadowhawk. I really wonder what I did to that... Waneda. Why... Why... Why are its weapons busted? Oh, somebody's very unstable. And missed a kick. Looked like it was a raven. Who's this? Wolverine! Shooting at the Waneda. Who has 11 evasion? At long distance. Or where, where was it? I don't even know where it was. Ally Blackjack. What are you gonna do? Shoot at the Wolverine, who is taking some stability damage. Flee. Alright, they have a flea. And another raven. Also shooting at the Waneda. I'd love to get a raven. Well, I mean, they're okay. So, Juanita, you can go already. Want to get you... shoot right in the wasps back and how did I 
And it really bugs me that somehow I broke the <coughs> Juanita. Pretty much my best mech. Wow. Such a bad chance to hit. That's it? That was... Okay, yep. Receiving you. Nova? Can't really do anything. Maybe I should actually reserve. See if anybody comes into range. We're into line of sight. Shooting at that raven. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Oh. I can already get into melee range. 61% chance, but I will not have my triple strength Myomar activated. Perhaps instead, a shot to the back? It's a very difficult target to hit. Ooh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually go and hit it. And maybe it's a vision will go away and then it'll be a lot easier to hit even if I don't get my trip strength Myomar activated I think that's what I'm gonna do come on hatchet man don't miss ah, did it hit I don't see structure exposed yeah I think actually though um, physical weapons yeah uh, I should it still has its evasion. You need to kick it. I didn't know that. Not every physical attack will remove uh, Ready for orders. target's evasion. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not a bad shot up here. And maybe I could tag it. Maybe I should have done that first. That's all right. Come on, tag. Do your thing. Did it tag it? I don't think so. Oh, but it's unsteady. Uh, where is it? So it did lose its evasion. Excellent. Meaning... This tank could come up here and shoot it in the back as well. With the MRMs and a machine gun. Commencing Alpha Strike! All right, good shot. Good shot, Scorpion tank. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Standing by. Nova, you can get a nice shot off at this too, can't you? Maybe I... Hmm. Not a great chance to hit. 25% from there. 25% from there, and I'll be in cover with more evasion. Aye, aye. Mm -mm 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 -mm. ER? No. ER will be... Confirmed. All right. Get him to eject. That would be great. Dan, Dan, yeah, no. I, I, no. 
you're gonna have to relax for another turn. Good for now, cooling down a bit. I hear ya. And the Wolverine. If I were to come here, whoa, 7.3% chance. Probably be better than that. If I sprint up, 9.2. Thirty percent chance. This should be good. There we go. And there's more where that came from. Well done. Good job. Good job, team. going on over here. Plane's been taking some damage and some heat. Shadowhawk. Taking a shot at this raven who's already unsteady. Or at least taking a lot of uh, stability damage. Mm, 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 mm. And... Our raven is running away, taking a shot at the Nova. Wolverine shooting at the Winita. Oh, and it hit. Okay. damage I believe oh there goes here comes that wasp that we were shooting at earlier they're flanking oh another shot at the Winita That's the enemy's Wolverine. Taking shots from my allies. Mm -hmm. Here comes an unstable raven. Through the grass. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Alright, I can go. It's my turn. Who do we got? What do we got? Where am I? That raven came so close. I'm ready. Maybe I'll shoot it with my Maxim. Maxim could come over here and still shoot that guy. 44% chance of hitting. Not great. But uh, I'll be out of line of sight of mostly everyone else. Good enough. Onward. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
I think I won't shoot those LRMs. Yeah, let's see. Engine destroyed! Alright. Good job. Didn't need the tag after all. Hatchet man. Where should we go, Hatchet Man? Where can we go? Ooh. Could get into the wasp's back. Not a great chance to hit. Not probably not bad. Okay, so now we can get the TSM <coughs> activated. Mm, projected heat nine of one fifty. Something wacky is going on here. That's not correct. Projected heat zero of 150. Okay. Well, this shows me that that's gonna be the best and something's buggy here because it says projected heat zero of 150 and that's definitely not true. Something buggy's going on. Good shot. Well done. Do, 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 do. Winita. Yeah, why don't we just fly on over in this direction and we'll just pick on this wa wasp. Uh, everybody seems to be targeting you. So maybe if we could go over here. Where can you go and still shoot the wasp? Could go all the way over here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I wanna get away from those other people shooting at the Winada. Not a great chance to hit. Oh, oh, no, good, a few shots. Can I do for you? Oh, you can come up here and get right in its back. What if you got a little closer? Uh, worst chance to hit. That's not a bad spot. Hmm. Oh yeah, 63% chance of hitting. Excellent. This should be good. All right. Good job. Where that came from. And Dan Dan, where are you? Waiting on you, commander. Kind of sitting here useless. Could you dismount? You could dismount, but there's really nobody close by. No, you can just sit tight for the moment. Resting my mech. What can I do for you? I think probably you can finish off the wasp. Affirmative. Yeah, critical hit. 
And he ejected. Good job, just like I thought. Well done, team. We got another one. Nova. Nova, Nova, Nova. Where do we want to go now? Want to stay up on this mountain? And shoot down at them? I believe in Rogue Tech it does give you an advantage if you shoot down at people. Classic Battle Tech, it does Ready not. So it might be worth my while to stay up high on this mountain. Shoot someone, 20% at the Jenner, 54% at that Wolverine, 16% at whatever that was, 5%, 7% now. What was that? Vindicator! Oh, I didn't know there was a Vindicator. 54% at the Wolverine. Got it. Yeah, good job. Well done. <clears throat> Allies, what are you going to do for me? Yeah, shoot at that Wolverine. It's a good idea. Uh, not that much damage. Did he try to hit the planesman with a death from above? I really don't know. Well, they really love going after the Waneda. Despite it being ridiculously long distance and incredibly high evasion. Here we go. Got some shots in the back. Jenner shooting at my scorpion no hit standing by Nova okay who's this this is the Jenner next target I could sprint where am I Sprint up into the woods here. Get a shot at the side. Might be a good idea, but I think I'll reserve him for now. Maybe I could tag it first. <clears throat> here comes a shadow hawk. Oh, take down that raven. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Fantastic! Well done, Shadowhawk! Bravo! Bravo! What's this? The flea? I'm here! Okay, yes, you can get a shot at the Jenner. 38% chance to tag it. What if we got super close? 32% chance to tag. 10 evasion is pretty good and it's out of line of sight of pretty much everyone. Seems like I have fairly good positioning here. I have that mountain between most of them and I'm just picking off whoever comes into my line of sight. 76%, 75% chance to tag it. Good chance, come on. Primitive. Did it not tag it? Hmm. I'm on the clock. What do you want? 
Triple strength Myomer is active. Melee. If I want, it's going to be a 78% chance to hit with the physical weapon. But if I kick, I... take its evasion down too and I could kick and it has the same chance to hit I way overheated could just do that uh, that no that's too little heat that is oh I could do that and kick it. Let's. It's gonna be 71. Da oh, yeah. That's the difference. 119 damage with the hatchet. Or kick it. But I mean, how much. It's. How much. It's got three evasion? I'll kick it. I can do more damage with my other weapons. Come on, Hatcher Man! I believe in you! Yes! Well done, Hatchet Man! Minimal damage. Minimal damage? Did the Hatchet Maiden take some damage somehow? Not really sure. Yes, All right, my poor broken Juanita, who keeps getting shot at and whose lasers are screwed up because I did something dumb. And I don't know what I did or why. And come in here. That's a 12? That's a 26% chance. No, 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 no. Of hitting or... 57% chance from there? How does that make sense? Do these have a minimum range? Oh, I could use the high explosive. Then, yes, then they have a good chance of hitting. Full speed, no target. I'll fix you, Juanita, I promise. Oh, try to kill its head. What did that say? Something unjammed? Okay, doesn't matter. Dan Dan! Where are you? Here you are on the Nova. And... Is that Jenner still alive? There's the Hatchet Man. Still alive. I could dismount and I'd probably get another shot at it. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Doesn't really matter. Smart. Cooling. Good to go. Wolverine. You can get a great shot at this guy. Let's do it. Let's finish him off. What if I used the standard? Ah, it's worst chance to hit. Try to kill Ted! Take this. Still alive? Nope! Waiting on you, Commander. Mmm. 
scorpion tank. What can you do? Oh, you can come down here really quickly into the woods, which is something tanks in Battletech can't do. Let's go into woods hexes. Oh, great chance to hit. All weapons are go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. MRMs. Good job. Yeah, keep shooting at my allies. It's a good idea. I like that. Shooting at the mech? What is that? Receiving you. Oh, that's a Wolverine. The Nova, you can't get a shot off. Everybody's out of range. Guess just sprint up here. Roger. I should have reserved. Oh, whatever. 16% chance of hitting. Hmm. I'm not going to waste the ammo. I hear ya. Oh yeah, drive up it. Oh yeah. Although, maybe not. If I got too close, you'd just be able to... Stomp me, maybe. I think I want to go down here into the woods, maybe. No, it's a bad chance to hit. That's not bad. That's not bad. And it's a lot safer than going right next to it. That scorpion tank is, you know, it's a light tank. It's... I gotta keep it kinda safe. Oh yeah, Scorpion just beating up on that Wolverine. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Hatchet Man on the other ch hand. I don't mind if you get nice and close. Where can you go? There, there, there. I'd rather go in your side. Not much evasion. Yeah, and just walk up there and shoot him. So, what can I shoot this turn? Probably not that. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Do one data. Um, yeah, you can just go really fast and get in its back or something. Everybody loves shooting at the Winnada. And if I go here, then everybody's gonna be able to shoot at me. Maybe rather come over here. Will I be able to shoot you? No, it says I will, but I won't. No. Do do do. not a great chance to hit. 
but I think I'm gonna do that anyways. Oh, it is a good chance to hit. Even better with the ERs. Oh, my poor Winita. What did I do? Why did I, how did I miss? I really don't know what happened. Unsteady. Good job. Here comes a raven. Second one. What did it do? Not much. Maxim. You should be able to tag this guy. Seventy-five percent chance of tagging him. And will I shoot the LRMs? Yeah, I might as well. Good shot, tag acquired. Here comes that shadow hawk. It's a little hot. Jeez, it's a nice shadow hawk. Who's this? What's going on here? Something sh kicked something. I wish it would show me. The camera in this can be so buggy. Wolverine, you must have a great shot at this guy. Come on. 74% chance from there. What if I got a little closer? No, that's worse. 79% chance from there. Is he gone? Did I kill him? Nice. Something's going on with the audio. There's no more music. Maybe, the, yeah. And it sounds like things are kind of glitchy with the audio. Maybe. Here comes a flea. Shooting at my Nova, see? Like, that should have made noise. Oh, a flea coming up over the hill. Are you my next target? See, that doesn't sound right at all. That's all right. It happens sometimes. Here comes this Vindicator that has no damage whatsoever. Shooting at the Winata. Whoops. So, Wolverine's toast. And the Nova has a chance to go kick this. Oh. From here he could kick. Kicking would have a 43% chance to hit. Mm. What does this mean? Regular? Burst? Off? Oh, that's AMS. ATM. Yeah, high explosive has a bit better chance to hit. 
Oh, come on. If he hit with that kick, that would be so good. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Nah, missed. Oh, good shot, though. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Look at this. Perfect opportunity. Nova's right here. I can dismount this battle armor. And then I should be able to mount... No, wait. Can I... Oh, I could physically attack it? Wait. Can't I say mount up? Oh, yes. No. I want to mount. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 53% chance of mounting it. Come on. You can do it. Swarm attack failure, it said. Okay. Well, that's not too surprising. I'm on the clock. What do you want? So, where is everyone? Hatchaman's down here. Uh, I think I'd actually best go back up the mountain. Hmm, I'd like to keep my triple strength mimer on. But unfortunately, in this game, you can't just attack random hexes. So, I actually can't do anything. And the scorpion tank. Oh, had a shot on somebody. Long shot. On that vindicator. Not a great chance to hit. But I might as well take it. Oh, it's a 50% chance. I could use... Oh, yeah, excellent. Bam, bam. Good job. I'm really liking that little scorpion tank. Doing a good job there. So, who's this? That's the Vindicator. There's the wa the f fire ant flea, or whatever it is. Fire ant. Over there... Maybe I'll just go fast. Try to hit that Vindicator. Mm, no, worst chance. All right. Audio's buggy. Wolverine. I think you should go with the hatchet man back up the mountain. Nova. Right here. The problem, I know what the problem with the audio is. It's the battle armor. Somehow the battle armor is weird. Why can't the Nova sprint? It's not like it's super hot or anything. Something super buggy. Hmm. If 
if I shoot at this fire ant and my battle armor is not on it, do I still have a chance to hit it? Because I think I might. Hmm. Hmm. I think maybe I'm just going to go over here and shoot at somebody else. No. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what to do, honestly. Yeah, I'll just do that, whatever. 4%. 11%. It's not worth wasting the ammo. What's going on here? Who's that? Just says mech. Oh, it's a raven. Maxim, I also want you uh, where do I want you to go? Up the mountain. Oh, terrible ch chance to hit. 2.8%. 6.2%. Ugh. Whatever, I got tons of ammo. Yeah, I got one hit or so. Do, do, do. I missed the music. Where's the music? This is super annoying. Maybe I can... I'm gonna go in here. Audio. Music. Ambient sound. Sound effects. Maybe I'll turn the sound effects off. Yeah, now it's gonna be 100% silent. There's absolutely nothing. No music or anything. Still shooting at the Winata. Everybody loves shooting at that thing. <coughs> Dan Dan. What can you do? Can you swarm... That guy, or are you too? No. What if I get really close to it? Can I move and then swarm? I don't know what the rules are. I don't think that I can do that. No. Oh, but a good chance in the back of that fire ant. Nicely done. Mask crit. Good. Uh, I think I'll turn the sound effects back on, because otherwise there's literally nothing. But <laughs> mostly it's just this stomping boom, boom, boom. Hatchet man. Where are you, Hatchet Man? Can't go up there? Gonna have to go all the way around here. Alright. That's alright. Let my allies fight it out mostly. 
Doom do do. Sorry about the uh, audio bugginess, guys. What can I? Uh, what can I do? I can talk about something else. I can talk about. I can talk about the magistracy of Canopus. Why do I love the magistracy of Canopus? Why well, I'm on my way there. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to get there. Uh, and why are they my favorite faction? What's this? Explosive pod one. Something's going to happen in one turn. An explosive pod on the Waneda. Uh-oh. Anyways, Magistracy of Canopus. Who's the Magistracy of Canopus? Anyways, what's that all about? Well, the Magistracy of Canopus is a periphery power uh, to the Galactic south i guess they're below the Fro free worlds league and kind of the capellan federation confederation they're a periphery power and they're awesome because they have traveling sex circuses like these uh basically a giant dropship that's outfitted with a bunch of sex workers and gambling and entertainment basically las vegas and these dropships just like they go throughout the inner sphere and uh you know bring the party to you and the the, the magistracy of canopus is often kind of referred to as space vegas which i really like i mean if i'm gonna live anywhere in the inner sphere i'm gonna go to space vegas obviously sounds uh awesome can you mount this guy now he's just out of range but he can get a shot in the back can he do physical attack he could use his physical weapon against him 54 percent chance yeah so the magistracy of conopus is kind of like space vegas and they're totally cool with anybody doing any kind of thing that they want you can be gay, you can be trans, you can be whatever you want to be. Look at that hit. Oh, good job, battle armor. And they're totally accepting of anybody. Uh, and they take in refugees uh, and protect them. Is he dead? <laughs> And yeah, that's the Magistracy of Canopus in a nutshell. They're they're they have a queen. They have the whole like monarchy, same thing. But it can only be a woman who rules the Magistracy of Canopus. That was kind of their thing when they first, um, when they f the the way. Okay, so the whole lore is some soldier woman i don't remember her name but i think her last name was centrella was pretty upset with uh the free worlds league who she was part of the free worlds league and she went on a mission and was stranded on a planet all with her just her force and kind of left for dead and was really pissed off at all of the well the commanders and so on and uh had enough of male dominated you know societal structures and decided to run off and start her own little kingdom uh and yeah that became the magistracy of canopus their home planet is the planet of canopus uh, and they are a magistracy, whatever the heck that means. And I do. I can come up here and I get in that guy's back, can I? Uh, what is this? That's the Vindicator. Not a terrible chance to hit. I came over here. Oh, that's not great. I think up here in the back will be good. So yeah, she formed her own periphery state, the Magistracy of Canopus, and uh, they took a whole bunch of planets, 
from the Capellans and the Free World League. Other planets wanted to join them. And uh, they became quite a powerful periphery, one of the biggest periphery states. Um, then the Star League happened, and the Star League came and tried to... Well, you know, when the Star League was formed, they had a big problem with the periphery states. That was their... They, they really wanted to get rid of the... Well, no. The periphery didn't want to be part of the Star League. Uh, and the Star League was like, no, you have to be part of the Star League. Everybody has to be part of the Star League. And so all the periphery states were like, uh, no, and said, make us. And so the Star League started a ridiculously huge long war uh, against every single periphery state all at once. And they were like, ah, this is only going to take... It was exactly a Russia-Ukraine kind of situation. They were like, this is going to take three days. We're going to be in and out in less than a year. It'll be easy. And uh, apparently they ended up staying for 20 years. The war lasted for 20 years. They did win in the end. They beat the Magistracy of Canopus. Uh, eventually. Okay, I got this explosive pod on me. i am got stability damage. I can't use vigilance. I think if this explosive pod goes off and I take a bunch of stability damage, then that's not going to be good, and I might crash, and so I think I might land, actually. And just go try to get into some cover here and turn into a pretty normal mech. I could also still jump. Still has some jump jets. Jump up here. For some reason, that's also cover. Jump there, maybe. Why is it such a bad chance to hit? Or maybe just walk right there. Yeah. Stability damage gone. Bad chance to hit. Even worse chance to hit. Oh, these are ER. High explosive. Much better chance to hit. So where was I? Yeah, so the Star League, they came in. It was 20 years war. Uh, it wasn't that bad for the Magistracy of Canopus. They didn't take so... They, the lady, the, the woman who was in charge of invading the Magistracy of Canopus for the Star League stuck to the Ares Conventions, which said no nukes, no uh, orbital bombardment, basically no just killing mass population you know like a lot of people still died it was a war but the magistracy came out of that better than the torian the tor the tor what is it called the torian concordat who like got absolutely wiped out they they like they got multiple planets absolutely nuked to Oblivion. I can't really get in range of sight of anyone. Might as well come over here. The Atorian Concordat absolutely got destroyed by the, the Star League. And yeah, so then they were part of the Star League for like a hundred years or so until, until the Star League raised their taxes. It was one of these, like, tax situations. And they're like, screw you guys, we're not paying our taxes. And basically the entire periphery uh, went to war again. But this time, there was Stefan Ameris in the whole mix. I'm not going to waste my ammo doing that. Uh, Stefan Ameris was in the whole mix, and he killed uh, 
Richard Cameron and basically became the new Star League Lord and then, uh, you know, then Kerensky and blah, blah, blah. Because, okay, Kerensky was off in the uh, periphery fighting the periphery states when Stefan Ameris did this whole coup and basically destroyed the entire Star League. Um, yeah, and then the Star League was gone. So the Magistracy of Canopus was part of the Star League for like a hundred years, and then they weren't anymore because the Star League didn't exist. And then they just basically stayed a periphery state, kind of, uh, you know, home to a bunch of pirates and so on and so forth. What am I going to do with these guys? You guys just come up here. Uh -huh. And then in like... Oh, I don't know my dates, and I'm not looking at anything here, but like the 3030s around, they entered an alliance with the Torian Concordat, and then eventually the Capellans, and actually have been doing really well I, you know it all gets fuzzy when it gets to like uh when the clan invasion started the magistracy um was kind of on the other side of it all and uh, on the other side of the inner sphere from where the clans faded and so they didn't get invaded by any clans but they did have an enormous influx of refugees coming in because they have this kind of open door policy towards refugees. If you need help, they'll help you. And so they had a huge influx of refugees uh, from the clan evasion, I believe, but didn't really suffer too badly. And then also then the jihad happened. I don't I don't know much about the jihad and I know. There was some kind of connection with the word of Blake in magistracy space, uh, and so on and so forth. I gotta, I gotta pause this for a moment. All right, I'm back. So, where was I? I was talking about the magistracy of Canopus, and the word of Blake had some kind of connection, but I gotta say, I don't really know what it was. I think they were just kind of, there was, no, there was, okay, there's the Marian hegemony, which is, <clears throat> another periphery state and kind of enemies of the magistracy of Canopus, and they had some kind of deal with the word of Blake and something went on there. Anyways, I don't really know about all that. And is all the sound gone completely? There's no more sound in this game. It's just bugged out completely. Has it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no audio. You just have to listen to my voice. It does this sometimes for whatever reason, and I don't know why. Yeah, and then the Dark Age came. So then you get into the Dark Age and the Magistracy of Canopus. Kind of, I think economically they did pretty well because of their alliance with the Capellans, and they have a lot of new Capellan mechs and stuff like that. And actually going into the Ill Clan area, they are fairly strong, I guess. There hasn't really been a lot written about them, actually, is the truth of it. Oh, okay, the Oneida. <clears throat> Could kick this guy, but that's maybe not the best idea. Could get in his back. I think that's a better idea. I need a little bit of evasion at least. Mm, but no cover. Or I could take off again. Uh, I 
I think I need to use Vigilance. On this guy. Get that stability damage off. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. So that's pretty much the whole history of the Magistracy of Canopus. The, the, they don't have a queen. They have a magistrate. And technically it's open for election. Like anybody can be the magistrate. But it's one of those things where one house has controlled it basically forever. Uh, hatchet man, come on up over here. <clears throat> yeah, and it's not a complete monarchy kind of thing. It's uh, the monarchy has say in things, but then there's a group of elected officials who need to okay, essentially, anything that the magistrate proclaims or wants to do. What is going on here? All right. What is this? The Maxim? Way over here. Why is it way over there? Where do I want it to go? I think it can't go down that mountain that way. I think I want it to go back up the mountain. Just come way back over here. Yeah. So that's basically the magistracy of Canopus. And I like them because they're like a free, open society. They take in refugees. They seem to be, honestly, if I had to live anywhere in the inner sphere, I believe the magistracy of Canopus would be it. Because I think pretty much every other house, like the Cretans, they're horrendous. <laughs> that's just a military dictatorship. And the Capellans are pretty much the same way. I don't... I have no love for the Free World. I guess the Free World's League seems, like, half decent. No, actually, I have no idea. I shouldn't say that. They're all awful. They all... They all... And even the Magistracy of Canopus. They're not, like, amazing. They've done war crimes and started wars and done bad things. Uh, as well. Oh, I could get into this mech's back, whatever this mech happens to be. I don't know what it is. But pretty much every other house in the inner sphere is complete trash. Okay, so not a great chance to hit with everything. But not terrible. The audio really bugs me that it's completely crapped out. Now we have the scorpion with its MRMs. And there's another raven here. I could just... Uh, shouldn't get too close to it. Uh, but I do want a good shot. Honestly, that might just be the best shot. Just get right next to it. And pray that it will not get stomped on. Hopefully I can destroy it. <laughs> this is turning into a pretty long mission, actually. Yeah, good job. Good job. Stressed and unsteady. Now the Waneda coming to finish the job. Yeah, come kick it or something.
Let's do it. Oh, he has a lance. You can see the lance. I didn't know you could see the lance. Ha! That's awesome. And down. Is it gone? Dead? Yep. So Wolverine is way back here, too. I'm going to go up the mountain. <laughs> so 75% are down. We got one more to go. It's that raven there. I still got a bunch of allies. Looks like we're doing okay. Dan Dan, can you get a shot in? Can you sprint? Not really. And just go there. Rear tag. Well, who's he shooting? Oh, he's shooting at that raven. Good. Just a moment again. I just wanted to see if the audio was like something wrong with my computer or something. Like only I wasn't hearing it. So here's the Nova. And that's the last Raven. Just come and punch and or kick it in the back. Do that. Nah, I missed. Oh, good shot. Oh, they had a C3. They had C3 network going on. Hatchet man. Can you get in there? Get a shot off. Only a kind of an indirect shot, a really, really bad shot. Hmm. Well, I guess it's maybe better than nothing. Let's see. Uh, it's not. Terrible. Uh, oh, I could probably shoot everything and get my triple strength Myanmar back on. Hopefully I won't hit my buddy standing right next to it. Do 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 here comes the plainsman. Oh, it's a nice looking hover tank. Come on, Raven, just eject. You you know it's over. You know it's over. You can't do anything. Point nine percent chance of hitting? No thanks. I'll just hit myself. That's really hard to hit. He has some kind of like stealth something or something. You can you get up in here? Oh yeah. You get a shot at him. Come on, let's go. 25% chance. 
Ravens right there. Uh, the the Nova's right there. I think I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to hit my Nova. Wolverine still way back here. <laughs> You're basically useless now. That's all right. Hatchet, man. All right. Time to bring the hatchet. 67% chance of hitting. I could kick it. Or I could use my physical. I'm going to use the physical weapon. Because if I hit it, it's going to do a lot of damage. Heat will be okay. Let's do it. Come on. I believe in you, hatchet man. Yeah, that's it. Engine destroyed. The hatchet did it. Excellent work, Commander. That should send the appropriate message. Mission successful. Do, 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 That was quite a long mission. Quite a lot of guys. And the terrain made it weird. Oh, is there... Music's back on. Okay, 1.3 million bucks. I'll use that. Not much damage. A bit of damage to the Waneta. The Wolverine got a lot of kills. Oh, the Scorpion got a kill. These guys got a kill. Hatcha, man. Everybody, uh, the only one who didn't get a kill was the Nova. But that's all right. I still love you, Nova. Okay. Now we got to go see what's up with this Waneta. Why? How did I... Oh, yeah. I don't get to choose my salvage. That's all right. Don't really need it. Why is the media? Why is that laser not working? I think I know. I know why. It's because the lance is it. I changed it around. Did I? I the the both the large laser and the machine gun were in the same arm, weren't they? And then, like, I put the lance in that arm. Uh, yeah, whatever. I do want him to do it because I find it kind of annoying to have to do all that myself. But. One Nata. Stop the one Nata. And we got to refit this. Yes. See? The laser and the machine gun are in that. And I put this handheld light AC5. In the same. So it can't be coincidence that these two weapons couldn't work. Handheld weapon system requires hands, uses handheld slot, requires six tons carry capacity, blocks other weapons in same location until ejected. Okay, so what about, what, can I just switch these around? Uses handheld slot, lower arm, plus one accuracy, four damage. Uh, heat change based on hexes moved. Base heat multiplier made by number of hexes moved to the power of 0 0.2. Okay. Damage increase based on hexes moved. Damage increase based on number of hexes moved? Base damage multiplied by number of hexes moved to the power of 0.3. I can't do that math. Base damage? So, uh, whatever. 
but I believe it does not block other weapons in the same location. Didn't say that anywhere, did it? No, this one does. Yeah, blocks. Yeah. This one doesn't say that anywhere, does it? I haven't read the whole thing. Hopefully, that should work. Uh, okay, now I'll put some of this around. Okay, now that's looking good. Yes, that was definitely the problem. Unfortunately, it's going to take nine days to do that. Well, that's what has to be done. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. All right. So I guess that brings us to the end of another episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, uh, you could like the video, subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. Anyways, hope to see you next time, and bye-bye!